my laddies. So today's topic, we're talking about a question that was dropped into my DM by one of our own. Because she wanted to know, what does God say about us having sex and if it is important for us to stop? So sometimes we do get what the Bible is saying and what God is saying to us. But is it important? Should we not have sex? It is the question for today. So I'm going to be doing a lot of these questions where I'm going to be dabbling in one of your questions. And this will obviously depend on how many questions do we have. I'll drop this every Tuesday. Welcome to the Christian channel. If you are new, Sabi, welcome. I hope you find a home. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for, for always supporting me, always commenting, and always being my number one. I love you. Stay blessed. And I'm praying for you. So, I decided, if we're going to talk about what God wants, we should go to the Bible and find out what does God say about us sustaining from sexual immorality. Look, the question is, will you lose anything if you sustain from sexual immorality? You will definitely might lose that boyfriend, but let's find out what God is saying. First Corinthians 6 verse 18. Flee from sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does out of us outside the body. Mm. Flee from sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sin against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of, of the Holy Spirit who lives in you? Which is from God? Do you not that you do not own your body? For you were bought at the price. Therefore, glorify your God with your body and your spirit, which belongs to God. So, what God is saying here is simple and straightforward. No to sexual immorality. If you're going to be performing any sin, every sin is outside his body. But if you're going to be throwing things inside your body, then you are sinning against him, your body, the temple of God. So, bottom line is, God does not approve of sexual Im of, of, of intercourses before marriage, before marriage. But obviously, you're asking yourself, how will this work if I tell my boyfriend this my problem, my boyfriend will probably leave me my advice to you is Seek God so that God can give you understanding I know that we come into the platforms and we tell you what to do and you try your best to do them But sometimes you're you are not there yet Which would be an easy option for you to just fall and go back to your your, your normal routine You need to understand why God doesn't want you to have sex you need to understand why God doesn't want you to be involved in all of these things in order for you to be able to deliver and 100% deliver. Because delivering is not about you doing what you think the Bible does, but you don't really have an, under an understanding. So what I want to say is first, I want to read from uh, Matthew 6 verse, verse 33, sorry. But seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness on all things shall be added unto you. If you seek God and you want to understand God in your own way, God will be able to interpret what he wants for you. I'm going to make a quick example. Um, if you, if you know that I've, I was saved in 2017 and I drank and last year I was still drinking. And I, I, I remember earlier this year, I was in a class, um, believers class and my teacher was saying we shouldn't be drinking alcohol and i was one of the people that was advocating for us to drink can you believe it and i, I loved what he said he obviously pulled out a few scriptures to try and direct us and he said i pray that the holy spirit guides you i remember coming home and i remember saying to god yes i do drink but i don't know what you want from me so guide me if you don't want me to drink take away the first of drinking but if you don't have a problem with me drinking I mean, <laughs> sister shall deliver. But you know what happened? From that night, when I sent that prayer to God, I've never touched alcohol, graved alcohol, or even wanted alcohol, or even thought of drinking alcohol. It has always been that one thing that I don't know what happened to it. So the kingdom, God explained this to me, or took away what he didn't want in my life. You need to be confident enough to say, God, this is what I don't understand. So interpret it for me, because... If you do things to make other people happy, you're going to fall. And you're going to fall hard because you're saving people. You are doing what you think people want you to do, but you're not necessarily what you're doing, what God wants you to do, with an understanding of God wants you to do. Guys, if you have a girlfriend, 
and you are both Christians. Save the girl some stress. Sometimes we, we agree to those things because we don't want you to leave us. And chances are, if you don't understand the whole abstain, you're definitely going to walk away. Sisters, if you feel like you need a man to fulfill you, or you need to be involved in these actions to fulfill you, then you need to stop completely and start searching yourself. You need to start finding yourself, being happy with who you are first. A relationship is two cups. There is no one cup is going to fill the other. That will be very toxic. It's two people that are coming with two cups to help each other form a union. So take time out, search yourself, purge yourself, love yourself. You know, be comfortable in your own space before you can seek someone else. And if you seek someone else and you are completely happy with who you are, I promise you now, if that man comes and they try to tow around with you, you will tell them no. You won't even think twice about it. Intercourses gives emotions to women. To men, it's just nothing. You give something. You get emotionally intertwined. And for a man, it was just a two-minute action. So love yourself. Protect yourself. Do not engage. That's what I'm doing. And I'm hoping that you will do the same. I'm hoping that you will follow what God wants you to follow. You won't do it for you. So, that's my say. That's my word. I hope you hear me out. Seek God for you so that God can explain things in your own understanding. Don't serve God for the people. Serve God for you. Thank you so much for tuning in into the channel. I love you. Please, if you have more questions, pop them through so that we can discuss them, talk about them. If you have a question and you don't understand anything that I've said, drop it down below. I'm here to serve. Have a blessed day. I love you. Take care. Ciao, Bella.